I just, the, the painting thing kind of like just grew on me. I always liked art, always wanted to do some type of art because I felt I was good with my hands. I mean, I made jewelry boxes, uh, the gamut of things that you do when you're incarcerated, I guess, trying to stay out of the way and be positive. I found that for me, uh, not wanting to get caught up in the gang situation, prison gangs and everything, I needed to find something to do to channel my energies. And I always liked art. A lot of people uh, don't realize the, the release and the value of being able to escape into to that because it's, it, to a certain degree, a form of escapism. You, uh, you lose yourself in, into what you're doing. And when you look up, hours and hours and hours have passed you by. Most guys, I think, in, that are incarcerated, they do time. They don't, they don't, they do the time. They don't, they don't do, use their, their time wisely. And so they end up not educating themselves or anything. I guess I be, once I started painting and reading, it took me to another place where I could escape for seven, eight hours a day, 12 hours a day. It was like I wasn't there. I was homeless. I didn't have any family here that I knew of. Uh, I didn't have any, anywhere really to go. I was paroled to the halfway house and I was miserable every day that I was there. I mean, because it was like, you got to sign in for this, you can't go there, you got to be in the house at 8 o'clock, you got to do this, you got to report every time you catch the bus and go there. So I mean, it was like being in prison all over again. One thing, I, I made a vow to myself when I left prison. I made a vow that I would never allow anybody to put me in a cage ever again and that I would rather be gunned down in the streets like a dog than to be placed back in a cage in a prison cell. You know, uh, for a lot of years, I had no contact with my children, but they reach out to me all the time now and let me know how proud they are. <laughs> Maybe it'll help somebody else. I used to tell the guys in prison, one day you guys gonna look up and see me on TV and y'all gonna think back to all them crazy paintings that y'all thought I was doing and they gonna make a difference. I, I, I feel like it's gonna be awesome and I really look forward to it because that may be the, the springboard that I need to really, really get my work out there. If I had my way, I would take that piece that I did, thank you for seeing me as a veteran and not a homeless man, and I would have it put in every VA hospital in the country, man. Because when you look at the, v, the art in the VA hospitals, there's no artwork that represents African Americans, really. And it would be an honor and a blessing if I could do that. I, I, I get different emotions. I'm, sometimes I'm painting and all of a sudden I'll just break out crying, you know. Uh, other times I'll, I'll break out, I'll be laughing or just enjoying myself or I'll put on some music and really listen to the music. And I, I honestly feel that it's not a matter of if I'm going to be successful and make it in the art world, it's just a matter of when. Uh, eventually somebody will see my work or see me and recognize the full potential of how far I could really take this. I, I think it's an honor and a blessing, man, and I hope that I, I do the hospital proud and Everybody that encounters me or my story, hopefully they get something from it that might help them.